My name is Maddie Whitler, and I am a board member of Bluegrass Pride. My name is Jake Blunt. I am the secretary of the board of Bluegrass Pride. My name is Justin Hiltner. I'm Ted Custer. My name is Grace Van Toff. My name is Ben Garnett. My name is Mark Traffigan. My name is George Jackson. My name is Kara Kunder, and I am the executive director of Bluegrass Pride. It means a lot to me as a queer person. It's like, it gives me community within a bigger community where I haven't always felt included. I really have actually seen the tangible result of it uh, making people feel more included. Bluegrass Pride means a lot, just knowing that you exist. It's hard for me to have a, even a conception about what Bluegrass would be without that. It really has made me feel more, more comfortable with being more open um, with gender expression and sexuality within the realm of bluegrass. If I had been 17 and if I had been running around a bluegrass festival with a bunch of uh, uh, rainbow tulle and sequins and glitter, it would have meant the world to me. For me, I've noticed just the sea change of people talking about this issue. Bluegrass Pride helps bring an awareness that bluegrass is for everyone, as everything should be for everyone. We were all here before, it just made it a lot more comfortable and cool for us to be open and out about it. Bluegrass Pride occupies this really important space where it just allows people to realize that they aren't alone. Um, because up until this point, it kind of has felt like queer people in Roots Music, and especially in Bluegrass, are all islands unto themselves. And so I think that this is kind of a, a, an opportunity for us to like raise a standard and show people that they aren't alone. It feels like a family that I've chosen. I hope that for the future of Bluegrass Pride, the same as I hope for the future of Bluegrass music, that people feel included and comfortable so they can just come and make good music and be good musicians. I'd like to see us, you know, potentially be a grant-making organization to help musicians make the art that's true to who they are uh, and know that they could have um, a successful career in Bluegrass while also being honest about who they are. I want Bluegrass Pride to just like have chapters in every pride. I want like a parade in every single, a, a float in every single parade. I want a parade in every float. Uh, that's, we're, there are going to be so many of us. We're going to have our own parade within the parade. To just make it clear to everyone that Bluegrass is for everyone and, and make it a welcoming environment for everyone. I would just like to see everyone embrace it and become a part of it for my old time community to know that it's something that they can be a part of, that they're also wanted and accepted and loved by this organization. Through sheer, just the, the, the uh, what it means to be human, people are still being forgotten and I think that it's really important that we, we keep ourselves aware of that for sure. And I also just like to see, you know, more folks who are you know, not super pro musicians, but now feel comfortable coming to jams and playing this music and being part of the community. It doesn't really matter who they are. Just be good people, be cool, and play cool stuff. We're all here because we love bluegrass, and so there's no reason why we shouldn't all be pals. I love gays. Yeah. I'm kind of passionate about them. Well, I am, I don't know if you knew this, but I am one. So.